All right, so today we're going to be covering the decorations mod, and this is a really, really large mod. And so the decorations mod adds a ton of new buildables that you can build on the inside and outside of your base. It adds some new stuff you can craft, a new fabricator. Are you serious? So starting with the exterior modules, we have four new buildables right here. So we have the reinforced cargo crate, cargo crate, damaged cargo crate, and then we have the lamp down here. So they start off super tiny, but you can resize them if you press. So if we hold E, uh, hold E, and then click. We can make them way bigger so we can actually see them because now they're not midget sized anymore and you can also use them as storage and they have some pretty decent storage as well it's about the same as your inventory so pretty nice new way to have some storage as well and you can stack them on top of each other so you can actually make like a legitimate cargo room in your base if you wanted to and you can actually make everything fit a lot better the other exterior build that we have is the lamp which is essentially like a big light all right as we can see the lamp isn't very big but it is kind of small it does look kind of cool and you can also change the colors of the lamp we can change the color of the little tube that's inside of it which is the little neon tube right there as we can see i'm clicking it changing color da -da 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 -da. we can also change the intensity of this neon tube if we hold t and click on it so click on it it'll make the little tube inside a little bit brighter if we hold i we can change the intensity of the light to make it stronger so let me do that if we hold f and click on it we can change the range of the light so it actually reaches a lot bigger messing with the red green and blue levels you can do that at your own little discretion you can give your base an entire new atmosphere with those lamps especially because you can change the intensity of the lamps you can change the color you know you can change essentially the entire lamp now if we go to interior modules we can see there's a whole bunch of new stuff here so we have the seeds fabricator fabricator to produce seeds and then we have the decorations fabricator fabrication to produce a fabricator to produce decoration items we got a locker 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 at a small aquarium let's do the fabricators last actually if you will notice these lockers are the lockers that you typically see in like the degasi bases whenever you go and search those so that's where these lockers come from and it's kind of nice that these lockers got added because these are not in the base game and they do look kind of cool although i do wish you could change the interior of this because i don't know who the freak this lady is these lockers all have their own storage so again you can add this to like a storage room or something like that gives you a lot more options aside from just the base game lockers and then we have these small aquariums which are exactly what they say they are it's just a really 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 tiny aquarium and you can only put one fish in here i feel like honestly if you put a fish in here you're low-key bullying it because there's literally nowhere for this fish to swim around maybe don't put fish in the small aquarium oh okay i missed this okay so there's a long planter now i don't know how i missed that so there's the interior grow bed, as we can see right here, the regular plant pots, and then we have this long planter. It's a planter with less space, but it is like a bit longer. So if you wanna have like a different type of garden idea, you know, that you can use the long, the long planter to sort of fulfill that idea because all we really have in the base game are these interior grow beds and they're kind of, uh, it's like a big old square essentially. So this gives you a little more options when it comes to customizing, I guess you can say, because these are like little rectangles and they can sort of fit in more areas. The long planter is for both your interior and the base exterior so that's cool very cool too now moving on to the miscellaneous tab we can see that there is a big old arrangement of new items that we can build now so we have let's start from the top so we have a very small bench it's just a very small bench it's essentially like a seat we got a small bench now so you can actually you have different sizes for the vanilla bench so that's cool the empty desk instead of having this desk this is the vanilla desk right here it's full of stuff and you can now have this empty desk with nothing on it so you can actually customize it yourself instead of having to you know sort of match the theme that the vanilla one gives you by default we got all these sofas now so the long sofa works the small sofa works and the sofa angle works but when i click on the medium sofa it does not do anything it does not work so just keep that in mind you got the customizable picture frame which we sort of already had to begin with but you know it's okay we have a cyclops toy now so that's Cool. Wait, no, I didn't mean to sit down. Hold on. You can also adjust the size of this Cyclops toy by holding E and then clicking on it, and you can make it bigger, bigger, bigger. You can only make it so big, though, so just keep that in mind. It looks pretty nice, too. What the heck? I wish the base game Cyclops looked like that. Those little black, big black lines right here look kind of cool. And there's one for every one of the vehicles. So we have a Pronto toy right here, the Seamoth toy. We got this control terminal from the Moon Pool, which is, you know, there's nothing, there's not going to be anything on it because it's not linked to anything. Uh, Let's see, let's see. Decorative tech box. Yeah, it looks just like the radio, except it does not have the light on it and the other two thingy majiggies. Got a pedestal, you know, the forklift toy. Again, also can adjust the size of it. Okay, we have Marla the cat. I don't know who Marla the cat is, but you know. And a specimen analyzer, I really, really, ooh, we don't really like this thing. Can you put anything in it? The specimen analyzer looks super awesome. Looks like something you would put in like a laboratory type scenario. 
our room, so that's nice. We have a big old lab cart right here. You know, again, for a laboratory. Warper specimen, yeah, because that looks, that looks like it actually makes sense. Got our wall screen, then we have a broken wall screen if you want to make like, I don't know, maybe like a damaged type of base theme. And I think that is it for all the buildables that this mod adds. And now we can go to the fabricator, which is where all the other stuff is at. So starting with the seeds fabricator and the seeds fabricator, you would, you would imagine you'd be able to fabricate seeds in here. The seeds from every single plant in the game, whether the plant's like underwater, on the, I was about to say on the air, on the surface, etc. You can make all the plants in the game. We got the clover plants right here. We have trees. Let's see, tropical plants. You can make all the tropical plants. Those are the air plants I was talking about, the plants that are like on the floating islands and stuff. You can make those up here. There's the underwater plant. Oh, you can make the mushroom forest tree? I didn't know that. What the heck? Anchor pond. Oh yeah, you can make everything, everything. All right, I thought it was just like regular old plants. Now you can make essentially everything. Let me make this mushroom tree real quick. I wanna see what this looks like. All right, so now we have a giant mushroom tree just sitting right next to our base. That's super awesome. You can really decorate the outside of your base like super well with this mod because of all these plants that you can get now because now you have a lot more options. Now we can look at the decorations fabricator. So this is gonna allow you to craft basically every decorate, decorative item in the game. So you know how whenever you go through the Aurora and you see all those like small things that you can pick up like this microscope right here, you can craft that in here. You can also make the sea moth fragments if you wanted to do that. You know, you can do that here, I guess. You gotta drink some food. You can make all... Ooh, that was a nasty voice crack. Oh, you can make a small meal? Hold on. T can you eat that? The small meal gives us 40 food and 10 water, and then the meal tray gives us 55 food and 25 water. Not too, too broken. Okay, and then we have the precursor technology, so we can make all the different warper parts, because if you just wanted all the parts of a warper's body in your base, you know, you can make that here, I guess. Got those, we got the different precursor weapons. <laughs> Bloomsday device. Alien rifle, ancient earth blade. Potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. What were the precursors doing making this? They trying to be Hubert Farnsworth? Like what the heck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought you said this thing didn't work. It has its own little animation. That's cool. Again, all this stuff would be perfect to put in like a laboratory setting. And this kind of floats as well. Oh, yeah. And a lot of this precursor stuff actually moves. The translation device moves around. That doomsday device moves around a little bit. You can make all the different alien tablets right here. So we have the purple tablet, orange tablet, blue tablet, and then we have two new ones. We have the white tablet and the red tablet. Boom. And then the red one. And they both have a little bit of ambient lighting that they give off. As we can see, the area around it is a little bit red, so that's nice. Or does that mean? We got creature eggs. We got all the aggressive creatures right here. A sea dragon egg. I didn't even know there was one of those in the game. So you can spawn all the different types of eggs in, although they are only cosmetic. Oh, okay. I guess you can phase through them too. These things are really small, aren't they? I can't even make, I can't make them any bigger than that. Got some office supplies, got some documents, crumbled up papers. Okay. Pen holder. So you can make all the different types of posters. Basically all the stuff that you can get in the game that's like decorative that you only, that you're only able to find once you can now make. So you don't actually have to go out and like hunt for all that stuff now. You can just build it in this fabricator, which is, you know, a lot better. But this mod does give you, you know, hundreds of new options to actually mess around and play around with. As far as decoration goes, like literally hundreds of new options because of all the items that this mod adds. But yeah, that was the Subnautica decorations mod. It's one of the largest decoration mods that Subnautica has to offer. You know, we can see why, because it adds so much freaking stuff to the game that you can do now. I do plan on doing another video where I go over like multiple decoration mods because I know there's multiple ones out there, but I wanted to do this one on its own because it's so freaking large. Other than that, that is about all I have for y'all. Thank you all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.